Hi, my name is Jennifer, and in this video, we're going to be factoring perfect square trinomials. So grab a pencil and some paper and work through these problems with me. Our first example is the trinomial 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. And we're asked to factor this problem. Now we could use the method, the Swedish fish don't really swim method, but I want to teach you how you can recognize some trinomials to be what's called a perfect square trinomial. And here's what we need to look for. To identify a perfect square trinomial, we need to see if the first term and the last term are perfect squares. And to do that, we're going to take the square root of them. If we were to take the square root of 9x squared, that would give us 3x. So this is a perfect square. The square root of 16 is 4. So 16 is also a perfect square. Next, the final way to check to make sure this is a perfect square trinomial is to double check what this middle term is. And here's how we're going to do that. Let's let the answer to the first term square root, let's let that represent the letter A. And let's call the square root of the last term, we'll call that one letter B. So the final check to determine if this is a perfect square trinomial is to ask yourself, is this middle term, is it equal to 2 times A times B? So let's check. 2 times 3x, let's write that down, 2 times 3x times 4. 2 times 3x is 6x. 6x times 4 is 24x, which is what our middle term is. So this is a perfect square trinomial. Now that we've determined that this is a perfect square trinomial, this is how our answer will look. Our answer will always be a plus or minus b quantity squared. Now notice that I put plus or minus in there. Sometimes it will be a plus sign and sometimes it will be a minus sign. And here's the easiest way to figure that out. When you go back to your original trinomial, if the first symbol is a plus sign, your answer will be a plus sign. If the first symbol is a subtraction sign, your answer will have a subtraction sign. So let's go ahead and write down the answer to this problem. For this problem, remember that our a is 3x and our b is 4. And if we look at our original trinomial, we have a plus sign. So this problem, the answer is 3x plus 4 quantity squared. Okay, I think we're ready to do another problem. Let's factor 25y squared minus 10y plus 1. But before we factor, let's make sure this is also a perfect square trinomial. The first thing we need to check is we need to make sure the first term and the last term are perfect squares. If we take the square root of 25y squared, we get 5y. So the first term is a perfect square. If we check the last term, the square root of 1 is 1. So that's also a perfect square. 
next. We need to check about this middle term. And as the previous example, we need to make sure the middle term is equal to 2 times A times B. Now we're going to let A be the square root of the first term, which is 5Y, and B is the square root of the last term, which is 1. So to check this, we're going to have 2 times 5y times 1. 2 times 5y is 10y. 10y times 1 is 10y. So we have a perfect square trinomial. Once you've determined this is a perfect square trinomial, we can go ahead and write our answer. Our answer will be in the format a plus or minus b quantity squared. Now remember how we determine if it will be a plus sign or a minus sign. That depends on what the first symbol in our original trinomial. In our problem, the first symbol is a subtraction sign. So our answer will also be a subtraction sign. A which is 5y, minus 1, which is b, quantity squared. So the answer to this problem is 5y minus 1, quantity squared. All right, let's factor one more problem. Let's look at the trinomial 4x squared plus 20xy plus 25y squared. Now let's see if this is a perfect square trinomial. To do that, we need to make sure the first term and the last term are perfect squares. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, and the square root of 25y squared is 5y. Next, to determine if this is a perfect square trinomial, we need to make sure, we need to check our middle term. Does the middle term equal 2 times A times B? Now, just like before, we're going to let A equal the square root of the first term. B will be the square root of the last term. So we are checking 2 times 2x times 5y. 2 times 2x is 4x. 4x times 5y is 20xy. So we have a perfect square trinomial. Our answer will be the format a plus or minus b quantity squared. Now don't forget, it's either going to be a plus sign or a minus sign. That all depends on the first symbol from our original problem. We have a plus sign, so our answer will have a plus sign. a, which is 2x, plus b, which is 5y, quantity squared. So the answer to this problem is 2x plus 5y, quantity squared. Now if you have any other questions about this topic, please stop by and see your professor. You can also stop by the math tutoring lab, or you can watch this video again.